I was very fortunate to get to experience how it's like to live in Japan in the city Nagasaki for the period of five months. I have decided to document my journey and share some of my thoughts and experiences through this video. I took a late evening flight to Fukuoka so I decided to stay overnight at a hotel next to the train station and head to Nagasaki the next day. I went into a small called Canal City and also tried a ramen which appeared to be quite famous among the locals. The seafood tonkotsu broth they serve here has a strong umami flavor and you can taste many layers and a real depth of flavor. The next day I set off to Nagasaki from Hakata Station. We will soon be arriving at the Nagasaki Terminal. The first thing to do after arriving is to get the key for my accommodation. The place is well equipped and has the basic amenities. Um, okay, I don't mean to be a complainer, but the room was extremely dusty and it seems a piece of the floor was broken. <laughs> After settling down in my new accommodation, I went to explore my neighborhood to see where I can go for grocery shopping and to see if there's something nice nearby. If you have visited the supermarket or the convenience store in Japan, you'll agree that these two places are beyond imagination. There's a large variety of ingredients, beverages, snacks, which some of those are unique to Japan. These places are filled with happiness and calories. I would have never expected to move out after moving in for just one week. The room was so dusty it caused me an allergic reaction to the dust mites unfortunately and I got rashes all over my body. So I need to move out immediately. Fortunately I could find another place in no time. Since the contract was flexible so I didn't have to pay any termination fee or had to make any additional cost. Nagasaki is one of the most multicultural cities in Japan. You notice two cultures are having a huge influence on the city. Looking at the architecture of the buildings and the local food specialities, you'll see the Chinese and the Dutch cultures are playing a major role on how Nagasaki has developed. Historically, Nagasaki was the only city that was open to the world for commerce and foreign relations during the Sakoku period, also known as the Isolation Period. They had extensive trade with the Chinese and Dutch traders on the island called Dejima. The Dutch were the only European foreigners that were tolerated under the Sakoku policy. And it was during this time, knowledge of scientific, technical, and medical innovations that are already being applied in Europe flowed into Japan. Nagasaki is a phenomenal city, offers a lot for visitors ranging from historical sites to nature activities. An advantage of being an exchange student is you get discounted some attractions for instance at this atomic bomb museum. If you prefer more outdoor activities, there are a lot of mountains and hiking trails within and nearby the city. You can also go visit a zoo to meet the capybaras. These animals are very gentle and are used to interacting with humans. If you come here in the winter, you can see them soaking in the hot spring. Nagasaki sounds remote and inconvenient to me initially, but I was wrong. Nagasaki gives me the proximity to explore other cities and other prefectures nearby. There are express trains heading to more densely populated cities within Kyushu such as Fukuoka and Kumamoto. But there are also local trains which can bring you to places that are unlike the major cities, they are sworn by tourists, but really off the beaten path, somewhere you can enjoy tranquility and get a real taste of the rural side of Japan. 
I did most of the traveling alone and I prefer to travel by myself because it allows you to better engage with your surroundings, with the people and things you have come across. I'll never forget all the picture sceneries I've seen, really one of the most spectacular surreal landscapes I've seen in my entire life. About the food, I like the concept of having the regional dishes in each prefecture or each city in Japan. The renowned delicacies from Nagasaki are champon, a soup noodle with pork, seafood, and vegetables, sara udon, fried noodles with a bunch of toppings, and kastera, a type of sponge cake originating from Portugal. Densha is one of the most iconic sites you will see here in Nagasaki. The Nagasaki streetcar known as Densha is one of the main transportation means to get around the city. It gives you very easy access to most of the city's main attractions and run approximately every 5 to 8 minutes. You get on the tram through the rear door and you get off through the front door. One ride costs 130 yen regardless of how far you travel. Day, I've tried many different new things, like taking a culinary class. Cooking was something I was never interested in, but as you get older, you will change, I guess. And my culinary skills have improved a lot compared to before. It was a very fun section, and I learned how to make Japanese traditional sweet and the right way to whisk a cup of matcha. I was invited by my co worker, who also offered me a homestay experience at her house to see how life is in a Japanese household. She's a wonderful person. She's like a second mom to me in Nagasaki. I also participated in voluntary work as a travel guide for the elementary school children, and we had a lot of fun exploring the city together. Nagasaki is located in the southern Japan, so the cherry blossoms here hit the peak bloom relatively early in spring, around the end of March. People would go for a hanami and enjoy a picnic under the blossom trees. Hi. I cannot find a sun dango, so I got a red bean paste and a shoyu dango as a substitution. Something very typical in Japan are matsuris, which are local festivals. In Nagasaki, there are festivals almost all year around. I went to the Sail Boat Festival in April, the Summer Festival in July, which is quite similar to the previous one. Those are events where you can try the different types of street food and enjoy the fireworks show. I also went to the Ajisai and Lantern Festival in June. Ajisai is the Japanese word for hydrangea. Every year around May and June is the blooming time for these flowers. The soil pH level can affect the coloration in hydrangea. Acidic soil with a pH level lower than 6 can yield blue or purple color, and with a higher pH, the color will change to pink or red. Kawaii. <laughs> I started my internship in the spring holiday, and I didn't know that Japan starts the new academic year in April. So there was actually no one in the office, and I was a little bit concerned in the beginning about how I'm going to make friends then. <laughs> Fortunately, it was just a temporary concern.
Nagasaki University offers Japanese courses for their foreign students and researchers. I'm extremely thankful for my professor for giving me the permission to do something that is not in my curriculum during the working hours. So two days in a week, I would start with some preparation in the lab in the morning and walk to the main campus to take the course and came back in the afternoon to continue with my experiments. But because of the tight schedule, sometimes I needed to work till late at night to keep up with the progress. My experiments involve working with cells, so it is inevitable that I have to come to the lab on weekends or holidays. considered a big part of the population in Nagasaki. They're the second living species I've seen the most other than humans. I've seen many cats strolling around neighborhood, and I think one of them recognized me after having multiple interactions. Hi. Bantos were something I lived off every day. Characteristics of Japanese bantos are quality and variety. Some decent food you can get for an affordable price. It's very much my usual meal because it's just so convenient. You just pop it in the microwave and you're good to go. Because my budget was running low, so I decided to move into a share house this time. Is not far away from the university and is pretty close to my previous residential area. But one thing to know is the share house is located at the top of the mountain, so you definitely need some stamina because you have to climb up countless of stairs every day just to go home. But on the other hand, you wake up to this view every day. The room itself is like a washitsu, a typical traditional Japanese style room, and here I share the bathroom, the toilet, the kitchen with my other housemates. The share house is just a couple minutes walking distance away from the one legged arch and the Sano shrine. The single pillar of the Tory gate and the two large cavalry trees are the remains that have survived the destructive force of the atomic bomb in 1945. It's already my fifth time moving and I'm just staying here for five months. So this time I was moving to the university dorm. That is actually the most affordable option among all the places I've stayed at before. You got your own toilet and bathroom and a shared kitchen with your floor mates. Another thing to take into consideration when you plan to travel to Japan in summer, this country is often hit by typhoons. The convenience stores in Japan sell those hurricane-proof umbrellas, which I highly recommend it. Weight separation is very important in Japan. Here's the instruction on how to properly separate your trash. We went to Fukuoka for the two days trip and it was my first time to spend a night at an internet cafe. It was a very unique experience.
We came to Fukuoka to witness the Hakata Gion Yamakasa, which is held during the first half of July every year. But it will start very early at 5 a.m. in the morning. Each participating neighborhood of Hakata district will compete against each other in float racing. It is an act which they are pushing the Kakiyama floats that are about 5 meters high and weigh around 1 ton around the city. <laughs> The last several minutes of May 23. I'm especially grateful for the people I've met. People have helped me to get familiar with my surroundings, to overcome the language barrier, to connect with the social community, and supported me in many different other ways. The most precious thing of this journey is the friendships that I developed. <laughs> this is an unforgettable experience, and I'm so glad I made a decision to go abroad and live a different life, even just for a short period. When going to a foreign country, you're most likely in a place that is culturally very different. I really enjoyed this great adventure, an opportunity to get to know and embrace the new environment. During this period, I had a chance to immerse myself in the culture, explore the wonders of this country, had many unique experiences, and most importantly, I've met many amazing people. Thank you, Nagasaki. Arigatou gozaimashita.